Hey guys, today we're going to be learning how to solve systems of equations. First, we have to understand what a system of equation is. A system of equation is a set or collection of equations that you deal with all together at once. Typically, you're trying to find out the solutions between the equations, or in other words, where they all meet, such as this, uh, these two equations down below. Now, the two most common ways of solving these systems are elimination, where you eliminate a variable and then solve, and substitution, where you solve for a variable and then plug it into the next equation. All right, so let's get straight into it. First, let's start off with elimination. So what elimination is, is uh, you're going to be eliminating a variable uh, within the two equations by adding the equations together. And how we're going to do this is we're going to find a variable with a certain uh, coefficient and uh, in one equation and on the other equation have it the opposite so they cancel out when we add it together. Here, for example, we have 7x plus 2y is equal to negative uh, 5 and negative 7x plus 5y is equal to 12. Well, we can already see that 7x and negative 7x, they cancel out because they're uh, opposites. Their coefficient is opposite. So what we can do is we're just going to add it together. Let's say we add it together. Well, 7x, again, minus 7x is just 0x, or in other words, nothing. And then we have 2y plus 5y, which is equal to 7y. And then we add these two on the right together. Minus 5 plus 12 is equal to 7. So then we get the equation 7y is equal to 7. Now let's solve for y. We divide 7 on both sides, and we get y is equal to 1. Now to find our x variable, my bad. Now to find our x variable, what we're going to have to do is we're going to take our answer for one of the variables. So in this, uh, in this case, we have y, and we're going to plug it in back into one of these equations. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, but uh, I'm just going to choose the top row. So we have 7x plus 2y, and we know y is equal to 1. That means 2 times 1, which is just 2, is equal to negative 5. Then we have 7x plus 2 is equal to negative 5. Let's bring this uh, 2 on the other side. So we subtract 2. This becomes negative 7. We get 7x. Uh, to solve for x, what we have to do is we divide 7 on both sides like this, and we get x is equal to negative 1. So this is our answer. Sorry, this is negative 1. And to write this as an ordered pair, we're going to take our x value, so negative 1, comma, 1, that's our y value. This is our answer. For our second example here, we have 3x plus 5y is equal to negative 16, and 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 9. Here we can see that nothing cancels out. If you if you add these two together, it becomes 5x. If you add these two together, it becomes uh, 8y. So they don't cancel out. We're not left with one variable to solve. So what we can do is we can manipulate the equations to make uh, them cancel out. Uh, we can let's choose a variable to cancel out. Let's cancel out this 3y and this 5y. Well, uh, to do this, we need to find a common uh, multiple between these two. A common multiple between 5 and 3 is 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of the equations to uh, multiply to a negative and one to multiply to a positive. So if we want this to, let's, let's make this one uh, equal to a negative 15. So what times uh, positive 3 do we have to multiply to make it negative 15? That's negative 5. And up here, what do we need to do to make this 5 uh, this five equal to 15? Well, we multiply it by positive 3. And we're going to distribute these coefficients to every part of the equation. So we're going to be, for our top row, we're going to have 3 times uh, 3x, which is 9x. Uh, 
then 15x, like we said, or 15y, like we said, and then is equal to, well, 3 times negative 16 is minus 48. And then we have minus 5 uh, times 2 is minus 10. And minus 5 times minus 3y is minus 15y. And then we have uh, 45. Now, this is something that we can work with because we have this positive 15y and this negative 15y. So when we add them together, they're going to cancel. So let's do exactly that. Add both of these equations together. We get 9x minus 10x is just negative x. And then this cancels. And then we have minus 3. Now, if we divide a minus 1 on both sides to get rid of the negative sign, we get x is equal to 3. All right, so now that we have our x value, we can just plug that back into our original equation. And then, uh, then we can get our y value. So here, we let's just choose an equation to plug it into. I'm going to choose the bottom row. Uh, so 2 times 3, because we have x is equal to 3, plus 3y three is equal to negative 9. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3y equal to negative 9. Then we are going to subtract on both sides. Uh, subtract negative 6 on both sides, so that's minus 15. And then we get 3y. We divide both sides by 3, so we get y is equal to negative 5. So our y coordinate is minus 5. That means our uh, our pair is our x value, so 3, and our y value, negative 5. This is where the two lines meet. Now let's move on to substitution. Substitution is when we uh, solve for a variable and then plug it into the uh, another equation in the set. Uh, so here we have 2x plus y is equal to 11 and y is equal to 3x minus 9. Well, we already have solved for y. y is equal to 3x minus 9. So what we can do is we can plug in this 3x minus 9 into the uh, first equation and then solve for x after combining. So uh, here we have 2x plus, OK, so well, we know that y is equal to 3x minus 9. So we're going to substitute this in for y, and then is equal to 11. So 2x plus 3x is 5x. And if we bring this negative 9 on the other side, it becomes 20. That means that we have x is equal to 4. Now let's bring uh, this x equals to 4 and plug it back in to find y. Well, let's just plug it into the first equation. So 2x, so 2 times 4 is 8, plus y is equal to 11. We subtract 8 on both sides, we get y is equal to 3. So that means that our ordered pair is 4, 3. This is where the two lines meet. All right, here we have 4x plus 2y is equal to 14, and 3x minus 5y is equal to negative 22. Again, you could manipulate this equation and then uh, use el elimination to solve it. But here, let's use uh, substitution. So you can see that we have no variable, or no single variable is equal to another set of like a, a, a polynomial or something. So what we can do is we can make it, we can manipulate the equation to make it uh, a variable equal to a polynomial or a few terms. So what we're going to do is let's manipulate this first equation. Uh, let's solve for let's solve for y. So uh, we have 4x plus 2y is equal to 14. Well, what we want to do is we want to bring this, we want to isolate this y. So we bring this uh, 4x on the other side, 
we get 2y is equal to minus 4x plus 14. And then to get rid of this 2 being multiplied by the y, we divide by 2. So 4 divided, or negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And uh, 14 divided by 2 is 7. So we're, we end up with y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. All right, so this is something that we know. y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. What we can do now is take this y and plug it in to our bottom equation. So uh, we have 3x minus 5y minus 5y. So y is minus 2x plus 7. And then is equal to negative 22. Now let's just distribute and solve for x. So we get 3x minus or 3x plus 10 x uh, minus 35 is equal to minus 22. Let me move this up. All right. Uh, this becomes 13x minus 35. So we bring 35 on the other side, and that becomes 13. So then we end up with, oh, sorry. Uh, then we end up with x is equal to 1, because 13 divided by 13 is 1. So we have our x value. Now, uh, now what we can do is we can take this x value and plug it into any equation uh, we want. The simplest equation here would be this y is equal to minus 2x plus 7. So let's do that. y is equal to minus 2x, so minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 plus 7. Well, minus 2 plus 7 is just 5. So our y value is going to be 5. This means that our ordered pair would be 1, 5. This is where the two lines meet. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. If you have any questions, email me at nerk15 at gmail.com or ask in the comments below. I also run a Google Classroom, which includes worksheets, the same videos, and uh, resources that can help you build your math skills. If you're interested in joining, uh, the code is A5MUEHD. If you'd like a video on a certain math topic, ask in the comments below. Uh, have a good week and thank you.